Welcome back to the channel YouTubers. It's me, Max Power, and this is Eskate Power. Today, we're going to be looking at the Backfire G2T. format what we're going to do is look at what's in the box so come on the board uh, you get these 83 millimeter wheels um, and they come uh, actually fitted um, but you can change it out and they do give you a set of 96 millimeter wheels uh, so I fitted these immediately and I also got a spare set in my box too um, so I took the small ones off immediately um, you get the remote which is pretty good it's there it's their new remote which is the, uh, the version 2 and it's got their OLED screen on it I mean I, I'm not too bothered about the OLED screens and for me it doesn't really make a lot of difference being able to uh, <clears throat> look at how fast I'm going when I'm running around there um, and then you get the usual skate tool nice yellow one with its droppy out bit and uh, of course the pretty standard uh, charger that you get with most of these ones from China. All that aside, uh, let's just take a quick look around the board. You also get in the box an Allen key and you get like a little torch thing which just didn't look very good so I immediately put that and left it in the box and put that in the attic. Oh look a rainbow. So the deck itself is pretty good. Um, I quite like it although I don't really like the cutouts. I don't really like those cutouts in it. For some reason, when you look at the other boards, you know, like uh, Boosted, X-Way, and Meepo and the other boards, although they all have their own little style, for some reason I just don't like that. I, I don't really like it at all. I think it makes it look ugly. Of course, you've got the normal uh, battery box, and uh, you've got your normal ESC there, which is actually quite good. It's, it's got its little vents on there to cool it down. It, they're well attached. Um, I went for the... Um, uh, dark grip tape rather than the Galaxy and I think the, the Galaxy um, just doesn't look as good. What I will say about grip tape again is that where this is stenciled out it starts to come off and it started to break especially over the A. The PU is 83A. You get calibre 2 trucks. You get two 350 watt in hub motors. It's estimated range is uh, 14.9 miles um, if you're a supermodel and all you eat is lettuce and weigh less than air itself. It's 14 and a half pounds, six and a half kilograms. Um, it's like a small child, I guess. It takes about two and a half hours to charge from flat. They claim um, that their hub motors are unique um, in the way that um, uh, they've customized them. Um, and, and this is all about this whole lower center of gravity. So, um, uh, you know, the idea is that you're lower to the ground and it's more stable. You have three modes on the board, Eco, Sport and Turbo. The Turbo mode that everyone's been talking about. The little uh, triangle button that you press when you're riding. Um, and then that gives you an, an extra boost in power. Um, I would... I would say that it does give you an extra boost in power but it, it's not significant and if you ride something like a uh, boosted board stealth um, I think that's much faster anyway. Broke my Insta360 camera. The uh, deck is made of uh, eight layers of hard rock maple um, so apparently that makes it both flexible and stiff at the same time. 
I would say personally it's a relatively stiff deck it does have some flex in it which is okay the caliber trucks are the star of the show here they are really good um, the bushings are really good in there as well um, and they're of a good quality so um, you, you know kudos to backfire for doing that right let's go out and ride this thing and go and get a coffee so here we are riding the backfire board I would say that the deck is really nice actually I don't like the aesthetics of it, but I think, you know, I think in terms of flex, stiffness is really good. Ugh, not so good when you're going over really bumpy bits though. It's much worse than the X-Way for that. However, the board is really manoeuvrable, really manoeuvrable. It's got good characteristics when you're, uh, when you're steering. starting to rain here now so we'll probably get to see how good this thing is in the rain I suspect not really good the uh, 83 durometer on these is uh, a bit stiff for wet weather so should be uh, sketchy it's pretty good actually uh, I quite like the bigger wheels I think they do it justice but in general in the kind of rough terrain you need those bigger wheels I think um, you know, sometimes the boosting board can skip around on some of this road, which is a, a little bit sketchy and a little bit sort of broken up. Good rain test. Oh, it's cold today. It's really cold and really wet and horrible. A bit miserable. Uh, it's raining. Let's go and get a coffee. I need a coffee. So realistically, the backfire, you can feel it isn't as good a quality as the X-Way board. You really can. And uh, certainly nowhere near as good as the uh, uh, boosted board. You know, the components in the boosted board are just far in excess of, of what this backfire is. I think we should keep it in perspective though that you know I paid uh, 450 pounds for uh, the backfire board and I paid £1,600 for a boosted board and about £800 for an X-Way board. So is this board worth £450 in the UK? I would say that it probably is. I'd say it's a really good board. I, you know, I think it's for beginners. I, I think beginners would love this thing. So to sum up, the G2T <clears throat> from Backfire is a really good board for the money that you pay for it. It's four hundred and fifty pounds. I mean, you know, you've got to be expectant of, of what you're paying when you look at other boards that cost sixteen hundred pounds upwards. You know, if you build your own, you'll be lucky if you if you spend any less than two thousand pounds. To be fair. That's so cool. So I think you've you've got to keep that in mind. So who's this board for? In my opinion, this is for beginners, people on a budget, um, and anybody that just wants to have occasional fun on it. I suppose most of the people that get into e-skating are going to upgrade from this board and they're going to spend a bit more money on their boards like the Boosted and, and you know, things like the Raptor. It's maybe the X-Way in between, but I would potentially skip that. If, you, if you're going to go and get yourself in the beginning one of these backfires, I would then probably just jump to one of the Boosted or the Raptor or, or something like that. Um, and it depends, you know, if you're into AT, then, you know, get into the Tramper, maybe the Evolve, if you like that sort of thing. Um, and, and those are all good boards too. Anyway, so this has been Escape Power. I'm Max Power. And don't forget to like, subscribe and comment.